How's it going guys? I'm Oz and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Last episode we finally escaped from Castle Black, hopefully. Um, we managed to see the cold boy again who seems to think that we need to go in and see those guys that are getting paid off by Lord Whitehill. Yeah, Whitehill. And we finally got that lady person to kiss Roderick. So, we're in the good books there. Finally. Something's, something's positive. But this is going to be interesting. God, was it that easy to escape? There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. Shit. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? Like the wind. At least we've got a head start on them. We're doing this in broad daylight? Are you kidding me? I thought they were gonna like come in under the cover of darkness. It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Shh. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. Nothing. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. As if Griff doesn't know what's going on outside. This is just ridiculous. You need to get back and stay safe. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. I really Together don't. then. Oh, okay. Then together then. Twenty men and not is not an army. Like I can't hear it, but the wound didn't respond. Stop this at once! Why? You let that fight faster. Oh. I tried. You'd have tried harder for a foster. My lord, please. I am the only lord who matters here. Roderick. Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? What the fuck? Let the maester go, Griff. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient. Just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. 
You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. Let's just do it. I've let you off too fucking easily, Roderick. What the hell is this? Enough chatting. What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it! Kill him. Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. You flay you, and your sister, and your own fucking family! Let go of me! Let go of me! I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! All of you! I don't believe in punching him. What's it gonna be, Roderick? We're done here. Clear out. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Coward! Bloody coward! Do they want me to kill him or not? Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. Mm. And I back swear here again. I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders and get him pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. <laughs> she can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm no. too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? When are they swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Veska. Leave the poor hey, man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? <laughs> Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just I take didn't care mean of it this. like it. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Best anyway! What the hell is going on? Pfft, you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft fuck? doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft had to say? Well, obviously you do. Because it's fucking art. Uh, 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 your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Veska! We're done talking. You're an idiot. Come on, 
on, Asher. Hit me. Uh, she is not oh, a woman. If this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You want to help? Come on! Fight back. I'm not going to do that! Seriously? <laughs> Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it? What the fuck happened? You're not telling me. I was me. a slave. Here, in this fucking city. Oh, there we go. Well, wouldn't you want to free everyone then? Uh. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. Oh. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. This changes everything, man. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um. I'm, I'm so sorry, Veska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. You got your chance for revenge. Dizor Zoraza. Because of that man. How did you get out? Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Mm, we might have to start talking to her. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? Yeah, why I not? have to. For my family. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. 
red side. You shouldn't be really walking together. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. <laughs> long may he reign. Long may he <laughs> Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. Uh, this is Lady Mira uh, Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where yes. have you been hiding her? <laughs> You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. There we go. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little low. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? No. Never. I'm sorry, I I am I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. So you guys if you'll excuse me. Stay together and yes. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. So I listened to it would again. Have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Is it our opportunity to go up to him now? Let's eat some food. I love King's Lane. Oh, He's amazing. It seems so calm out there. <coughs> yeah. Totally calm in dawn. I heard he was killed. Right here in the gardens. Well. Wasn't he a Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. going on so maybe maybe we can eavesdrop on these guys here we go it is a lot but i know how to spend it mm. but how did you manage it lord whitehill trusts me above all others that's why i'm the only one he's willing to work with oh an exclusive deal how good for you andros well i've got my family to consider when's the last time you even saw your Andros? <clears throat> so can we eavesdrop on these guys now? Oh, what now? God! Um, devils to go see Ned's dad. Goes what? Devils to go see what? See Independence Day. Independence Day? Oh shoot, it's just like the other one apparently. But what tonight? No, like 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. 
Yeah, I can. <coughs> Have fun. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Don't expect too much. Um, can you, sorry? Oh, that's alright. Can you lock the door behind you? Like, um, the actual front door? Yeah, thank you. See you later. Have fun. Sorry? Yeah, thank you. Are you joking? Lemon. Sorry about that guys, um, Matt's going to go see Independence Day, so hopefully that's good. And we're joined by our little friend, so let us continue. Okay, Eve job for these guys. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird? Mm, close. A cock. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? I don't want to talk to him. I want to eavesdrop on these guys. Oh, so why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm, is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? Mm. No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. So what's the mission here then? Shall we talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> oh please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. Why? I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. Well, you're I do yours. believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. Mm -hmm. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly uh. thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. So, I wonder if we talk to... Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Mmm, the food's great. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira's interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. I can keep a secret, can't I, Sarah? 
I was wondering what you could tell me about Lyman Lannister. Lyman? Really, that story is not appropriate for present company. That joke's getting a bit tired, don't you think? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want you to think ill of someone you've never met. Don't be angry. Perhaps later, then. Perhaps another time. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. What can I, um... Hello again, Lady Mira. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Please excuse me. Oh, well, so I've only got one opportunity to talk to them and that's it. I'm going to talk to the Lannister lads first and then I'm going to talk to that dude. I think that's the better way of doing this. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You're an idiot, man. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. You don't say. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Gosh, Lady Mira. Shaking. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. You'd say that again. But you're so, a Lannister, so what why? What brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... I suppose Lyman, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... Awkward. I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! It's time to skip it. Oh. Go, 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 go. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? <clears throat> that was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secrets safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. 
I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Oh, it's gonna right. bite us in the ass so Lyman hard. Lyman Lannister. So hard. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. <laughs> Poor Lyman has no idea. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. <laughs> She's battered her eyelids at him. <laughs> Lady Mira. Where did Andrus go? Screw it. This is the last thing that we need to do. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's... an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? God, come... Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. And you're helping him. Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... You bloody traitor. Okay, we gotta go. You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. We need to go now. Oh God. <sighs> Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. turn literally red
Okay, guys, we're going to have to end it there. Like, favorite, and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, all. Bye. Just say the word. Kill me. Or we all die. Oh, you're not oh, oh, Let me. Everyone, please. No. I'll kill you myself. Let's try to do something. Do it. Arthur, now. What? How did she get killed? So, oh, wicked! I've heard of these. So this is some um, something from the Tales of the Borderlands series. Uh, apparently, there was a lot of death scenes that they did a lot of extra work on, and this must be one of them. So we're not supposed to click this one. Damn it! But oh, that was awesome!